Talking the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane. What does it mean knowing Reed now offers the highly advanced specialty of electrophysiology to treat silent conditions of the heart? More than you know. More than you know is closer than you think. Reed Hospital and Healthcare Services. Welcome to Kix 96 and WHO and Video News. It's Monday, June the 2nd. I'm Jeff Lane. Many investigators suspect Richmond's Ronald Berry was under the influence of drugs or alcohol when he crashed into Daniel Brookshire of El Dorado last New Year's Eve. Jurisdictional issues may have prevented criminal charges from being filed. If so, it's certainly not the first time Berry has escaped prosecution for that kind of crime. As Kix 96 and WHO and News continues to look into his past, an almost unbelievable history of arrest and subsequent dismissals has emerged. Listen to this record from Cumberland County, Tennessee. In 2002, Barry was guilty of public intoxication in August and DUI in November. There was another DUI conviction three months later with a public intoxication charge dismissed. Fast forward now to June of 2005. Barry was arrested for public intoxication twice in two days. Both charges were dismissed. Then in November, another DUI arrest and another dismissal. A few days later came another public intoxication arrest and yet another dismissal. Barry has 21 other arrests in Tennessee since 2002. He also has two DUIs in Wayne County. Brookshire's unborn son died in the Warnley Road crash. Here's an update to the international prostitution and human trafficking ring that was busted last month in several regional cities, including Richmond. The accused ringleader, who is a 50-year-old Cincinnati woman, was bonded out of federal custody on Friday. The husband of Young Williams showed up in U.S. District Court in northern Kentucky to pay $25,000 in cash to bond his wife out. He paid mostly with fives, tens, and twenties. Williams was arrested following a raid in which 19 spas, including the Sunshine and Apple Spas in Richmond, were shut down. Four women were taken into custody in Richmond. Investigators say business owners kept a flat fee for massages and that female employees got to keep whatever payment they were able to negotiate for performing sex. Authorities were able to track down some patrons because they used credit cards at the spas. An Eaton man is in custody after allegedly kidnapping his own children and then leading police on a four-hour manhunt yesterday afternoon. 42-year-old James Depew was spotted in Warren County with his five-year-old son and three-year-old daughter. He does not have legal custody of either child. Police tried to stop Depew because he was wanted on warrants from Michigan. He drove the children into Caesar Creek State Park and fled into the woods with them. The children were handed over to Warren County officials after Depew was found. He faces a host of charges, including two counts of kidnapping. And some news now from in-house. Kix 96 and WHON has added a third television news partner. Beginning next week, we'll begin a partnership with Fox 59 in Indianapolis. We've got a Fox 59 camera in our studio, and one morning every two weeks, the Kix 96 and WHON news anchor will appear on the Fox 59 morning show for a three-minute segment featuring Whitewater Valley News. It can be seen locally on cable channel 4. Fox 59 joins our other two TV news partners, WHIO-TV in Dayton and Fox 19 in Cincinnati. This has been Kix 96 and WHON Video News. I'm Jeff Lane. Have a great day. Leading the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane.